Hello guys, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to my channel after a long time. My name is Faraz Ahmad and I am one of the doctor working in the NHS. So you must be aware of me because of my same man video on my YouTube channel. Yes, in this video, I am going to take another video. We are going to talk another video related to same man. And today's video topic is OPI toxicity. So we are going to cover OPI toxicity for PLAP2 exam for your UK MLA exam. If any of the patient is coming to the exam and patient is unresponsive or the response of the patient is very very low so this could be a station of the opi toxicity so opi toxicity patient can come in two scenarios patient could be fully unresponsive like loss of consciousness and patient could be semi-conscious as well so what you have to do before going into details of this topic you have to keep three things in your mind related to opi toxicity the patient breathing will be shallow and patient respiratory rate will be very very low number second sign that is very important pupil will be pinpoint constricted pupil so shallow breathing low respiratory rate constricted pupil and the low response are the unconscious patient you should have something should click in your mind like the opi toxicity should click in your mind so the presentation could be in two ways as i told you so if a patient is admitted to a ward like patient had a hip replacement recently patient had of some abdominal surgery or patient was admitted after a fall and patient was given opioid for the pain management so nurse can come to you or another you know relative could be with the patient and they will tell you the history and they will let you know like patient had a fall patient had a surgery patient had hip replacement and after the operation patient is on this painkiller medication and after being on the medication patient response is very very low so please come and see the patient this is one scenario the second scenario patient can present in the a &E, emergency medicine department and patient will let you know doctor i had a fall i came to a &E yesterday day and one of the doctor prescribed me this medication patient will tell you the name of the medication in history and our patient will let you know like i am taking this medication for a couple of days because i was discharged on this medication after what after the hip replacement so now patient is coming with the decreased response although patient is talking to you but patient will be very sleepy very slow patient response will be very very low while you will go deep and then you will come to know like this is an opioid toxicity so let's go to the screen and i will let you know how you will manage the unresponsive patient and how you will manage the patient whose response is bit low so while you will be out of the room a scenario could be there like patient is there with a decreased response and he was admitted in the ward and after the admission he was discharged home with the following medication and when you will go in you will assess the patient and the other scenario could be like this patient is admitted in the medical ward after the fall or after the surgery this patient is admitted in the orthopedic ward and patient is on this medication so nurse is there please talk to patient so first of all while you will enter the room you will do what you will introduce yourself to the examiner you will say examiner or you will say hello examiner my name is dr faraz ahmed and my gmc number is this this and this then what you will do before going to the patient you will safety net you will do examiner assume i have taken all the universal precautions then you will go to the patient so here is the important point okay so you will go to patient and you will do what you will do hello it's ahmed one of the doctor working in the emergency department can you hear me please when you will ask can you hear me patient will give you response if patient is giving you response it's mean patient is conscious if patient is not giving you response then your uh, you know next step will be a bit different could you please confirm your full name and date of birth for me if patient is giving you the response you will ask could you please confirm your full name and date of birth for me patient will tell you adam or something else and patient will let you know the about date of birth as well so then you will ask well adam what brought you to a and &E? okay so here if patient is talking to you patient will give you the story patient will give you the story doctor i had an operation i had a fall i had a back injury i had an operation of my tummy so i was prescribed morphine and if patient is unresponsive then the history will be given by one of the person one of the nurse who will be on the scene okay 
so then you will ask when did this problem start when did you notice like you are sleepy okay how much morphine you are taking and how many times a day you are taking have you taken any excessive dose of the morphine then you will ask about the medical conditions medication allergies and the smoker cuff and one important question is are you feeling any difficulty in your breathing then you will ask ideally examiner i would like to put my patient in a semi sitting position then after saying this then you will move to the patient again adam i am going to assess you it will include look feel tab and listen to different parts of your body please be assured a member of medical team if nurse is there if nurse is not there then you will show you will say please be assured examiner is with me and he is acting as a chaperone as well so that we can maintain your privacy so then you will look at the monitor and you will say examiner i can see my patient is attached to monitor and you will verbalize the vital as well and after verbalizing the vital you will start a to e approach please keep in mind blood pressure and pulse rate could also be low in the opioid toxicity so here is the important point if patient is unresponsive you took history from the nurse or the relative present on the scene then what you will do if patient is unresponsive then what you will do you will say i am looking for any lip swelling tongue swelling and the foreign bodies and you will comment my oxy my patient oxygen saturation is low as my patient oxygen saturation is low so i am going to give 15 liter oxygen via non rebreather mask if patient is talking to you patient has given you the history then you will see as my patient is talking to me so i assume that my, my patient airway is patent then you will directly move on to the b so then you will say adam i am going to unbutton your shirt to see your chest just see your chest then you will look at the chest and while you are looking at the chest start counting the respiratory rate so count the respiratory rate for 20 seconds or 30 seconds and multiply it by 3 or 2 accordingly so you will see respiratory rate would be low then you will feel the trachea and you will comment on the position of trachea then you will feel a uh, tab and listen to the chest as well okay and you will say examiner i can see my patient respiratory rate is quite low so i am going to request chest x-ray ecg and abg for my patient now you have the story patient had operation patient was given morphine patient was given opioid and now patient is presenting with the less response and the respiratory rate is very low and the uh, respiration is shallow so then you will move to the circulation adam i am going to pinch your finger and take your pulse and the blood pressure and you will see your blood pressure will be quite low so then you will say i am going to insert one large pore iv canola into your vein i will take the blood for the routine blood investigations in addition to electrolytes and ck please never forget to mention ck in opiate toxicity and then what you will do start one liter of the hartman solution over 15 to 30 minute okay so now you have done this so when you will move to d you will get a gold standard of the opioid toxicity that is pinpoint pupil so in the d you will ask for the blood sugar because patient is unresponsive and then you will check the pupil of the patient patient pupil will be pinpoint less than 3 mm and you will request the temperature so you will say oh i can see my patient was on the morphine my patient respiration is very low my patient response is low and my patient pupils are pinpoint so i am suspecting patient is having the toxicity of the morphine so i am quickly gonna prescribe or i am quickly gonna start the naloxone 0.4 milligram iv and you will give it so after a minute you will reassess you will reassess the conscious level respiratory rate and the pupil if there is no improvement you will give the naloxone 0.8 milligram iv okay then you will move on to e exposure and you will expose the tummy private areas and the legs quickly be quick in the e over here but if you have given fluid initially you have to insert the catheter as well please keep in mind then you will say examiner i assume that one minute is passed i am going to reassess the patient conscious level respiratory rate and the pupils if there is any improvement in there that's good if no improvement then you will repeat naloxone 0.8 m milligram iv then you will say i assume that one minute is passed i'm going to reassess the patient consciousness respiratory rate and the pupils no improvement naloxone 2 mg iv then you will say assume one minute is passed and i am going to see the respiratory rate consciousness level and the pupil if there is no improvement give 4 milligram iv 
so at any step your examiner can normalize the patient so at any point if the responsiveness respiratory rate pupils are improved then you will move on while you will move on once the patient is stable so you have to explain everything to patient like patient is stable no patient will say oh doctor who are you what you are doing to me where i am it's mean patient is coming back okay patient is coming back patient is getting consciousness you will explain oh adam i am ahmed one of the doctor i am taking care of you i am you are here in the a and e you are in the good hands so you will you know pass any of these comments okay so then patient patient can ask why i am here adam actually you know you had a hip replacement you had an operation you had a back injury a few days ago and you were given morphine for that you were given opiate for that and because you were taking these uh, tablets and unfortunately you have developed the toxicity or the side effect this medication you presented to a and e with a loss of consciousness are you presented to a and e you were uh, you know less responsive your respiration was quite low your pupils were given the signs of the toxicity so we have managed you with the naloxone we have repeated one dose two dose three dose whatever you have done you have explained the patient and now i am pretty happy that you are back to your normal okay so then you will mention we are going to admit you to the specialist ward i will involve my senior and i will involve the specialist it may be a icu specialist as well so we will do some further investigation and please keep in mind we'll keep you under the observation maybe up to 24 hours then you will advise for the triggers of the disease and you will advise for the safety netting so this is the morphine overdose this is the opiate overdose case guys that can come in the lab to exam patient could be unresponsive so please keep in mind while patient is coming unresponsive don't directly jump to the opiate toxicity it could be something else so loss of response less response could be because of a lot of things this could be opiate toxicity this could be what this could be your hypoglycemia station as well this could be what this could be exacerbation of smi acute exacerbation of the copd as well this could be anything while you will go in deep you will get oh this is the opi toxicity this is this station okay thank you very much by the way for watching the video and please keep watching keep sharing i will see you in the next video take care bye bye